Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. Today we are at Road Rage Bike Works in Aboka, Iowa. And look what they've rolled out for us today. I've, uh, I've ran into this bike a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago here. It's a 1962 Harley Davidson Sportster. I think it's an XLCH. Let's check that out, kickstart only. Yep, it is, there's no starter. Uh, it's supposed to be about as close to original as you can imagine. I think uh, I was looking at it, things that would be aftermarket might be the pipes, probably this backrest. But uh, really an interesting machine. So 1962, uh, 883 cc's, probably about 50 horsepower, V-twin, 45 degree V-twin, solid lifters. Um, I'm not sure what kind of carburetor that is. You don't know what kind of carburetor that is. Chime in, whatever factory was in, the, in that day. I know there's a lot of you guys out there that can tell just by looking at it, but uh, anyway. Um, Four-speed transmission. Check that out, isn't that just gorgeous? I love that case. Look at that case. Isn't that just beautiful? And look at that brake lever. That is amazing. I love it. Brake lever on the left side. Yeah, there's the shifter on the right. Beautiful. So this has been sitting for decades, literally decades. Uh, 1983 is the license plate. But, uh, so the guy that owns this, he uh, went to war, came back 1962 from Vietnam, and his dad bought it for him, and he's owned it ever since. So it's a one owner bike. And like I said, it's supposed to be about as original as they come. But uh, that's really quite a tale, isn't it, Ready, Just that alone. Uh, things that stand out to me on this one immediately, of course, besides the fact that it is 1962, I love this nacelled front end. Let's see, it's got a little damage, but isn't that just beautiful how that is? I love the Spider Force. They call them the Spider Force. They were uh, 33 and a half millimeters. I've got these on a bike I'm rebuilding. Love the, you know, the drum brake look. The, uh, this is the adjuster right here, actually, for the brake mechanical front brake you know I love the horn this is actually a horn let's get around here and look at that on this side right there the bugle for it battery would go right there I'm guessing this is a toolkit crash bar on the front uh, this says Harley Davidson I don't know if this was uh, yeah, well it might be the original air cleaner I mean service every thousand miles what a deal uh, Things that are super interesting to me, besides in the cell, and are things like this tank. This is what they call the turtle tank, for obvious reasons. I mean, look at that. Uh, the advantage of this particular tank is that it's about three and a half to four gallons, depending on the information you uh, look at. And this particular one still has the badging on it. You can find a lot of these, but the badging's always gone or cracked or destroyed. And uh, this still has it. And I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I don't, I'm not gonna assume. I'm guessing this is original paint. But isn't that just gorgeous? Just a, this thing is a real piece of uh, art to me. Uh, then we step back here to this tank, or the seat, I mean, I'm sorry. And uh, I'm redoing a 1970 Sportster, and I want this tank and this seat combination. Uh, this is supposed to be an original seat. Again, here, I don't know if it is, but the, that's what they call the touring seat. So they would take these Sportster, this is like the touring version of the Sportster, you know. The normal Sportster had the two gallon gas tank, peanut tank. This one had the uh, larger three and a half, four gallon tank, had the, uh, you know, the, the uh, instead of a single seat or the small seat, it has this longer kind of a seat with a backrest on it. Really quite a nice looking bike, isn't it? Uh, the fenders, you know, the newer ones, the uh, these things here were run across straight like this. Uh, this still has the uh, lower bottoms. This is just like the uh, forks and the button I'm building. Just absolutely amazing. Look at that right there. Isn't that neat? Just gorgeous. That's probably for the odometer, the bottom odometer, this little knob here. I don't want to turn it, but uh, just a beautiful thing. So uh, this bike, distributor right here, uh, it had a mechanical, it did not have, it had no advance to advance and to advance the retarder, you twisted this knob, 
with this grip over here and that would turn that distributor right there. See that turning right there? And you would, uh, I think you retard it to kick it and get it going. And then as you go, you increase the timing, advance it. But uh, I might have that backwards. You all the know, comment below again. But uh, then of course the gas here. Look at this Sportster right here. Isn't that just beautiful? Oil light, generator light. Just a gorgeous thing. Just a gorgeous thing. I'm all over this. I just, this is candy to me, my friends. And of course, look at these shocks with the covers on them. They look like they're adjustable for uh, compression. Regulator right here on the generator. Check that out. Isn't that something? Just a beautiful, beautiful machine. So this guy, uh, he's uh, advanced in age, probably older than I am. And he uh, brought this in here to Road Rage Bike Works, RoadRageBikeWorks.com. And he wants to ride this before he passes on. And uh, so they are going to take this thing apart and put it back together. They're going to make it look good. They're going to make it run good. And the old guy is going to take it for a run before he rolls it's his final resting. But uh, what a beautiful machine. Some things I was noticing on here. Uh, this little rubber piece add-on, that's kind of a neat thing to keep the oil spring up, I suppose. This little spring system here. I don't really know what that's for exactly, but... Uh, so it's keep tension on this rod. Mechanical brake adjuster, of course. Um, you know, the brake down there. This whole thing is just, this tool kit is a, I think that's a tool kit. I'm not sure about that, guys. Yeah, uh, those of you that know, here again, please comment below. Okay, looking over here, I've got the uh, shifter. Looks like the oil pump down there, of course. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe that's the speedo drive transmissions back here uh, I don't see a speedo drive off either one of the tires so I'll bet you that's a speedo drive but really quite a nice nice example of a 1962 Harley-Davidson Sportster I'm absolutely impressed with it and I really cannot wait to see what Road Rage does with it uh, some other details real quick it's supposed to have about a 57 inch wheelbase about six seven inches of ground clearance um, I think these are supposed to weigh between 450 and 500 pounds. The uh, seat height on these was supposed to be about 30 and a half with that seat. The uh, peanut tank version was supposed to have about a 27 inch seat. Horsepower, I think I said that already, 55 horsepower maybe. And 52 foot pounds of torque, if I got that right, I'm not sure about that, but uh, I think that's what I found. Very hard to find accurate information on this, you get a lot of conflicting info, but uh, Anyway, I'm just in love with it. Just in love with it. Hey, life is good. It's starting to snow here. If the weather permits where you're at, get out there and ride, my friends. Wahoo!